I want to talk about our fucking kill coming on your eyes, aren't I? Oh, we're, yeah. going to, we're going to talk about Ben Longstar is a big dog, but he's saying I'm getting Botox. <laughs> I've never had Botox before. <laughs> now he's saying I'm putting fucking cucumbers under my eyes. So we start an argument before we can get to the question. Over your eyes, I've seen you. What a cucumber? Well, not a cucumber. A face a mask? Fucking, yeah. Yeah. Because he, he's wondering why I look like this at 38. Yeah, I know, but like, I've got girls just done that face masks and that. No, I like to look after my skin. I like to just look like young for my age. It's not fucking you know when people say to you, is this your dad? It's not working. You know when people say to you, is this your dad? I say, no, it's just my mate. <laughs> and you must think, no, hang on. Yeah. Right, so we're getting started. So, as it started, we first went to Benidorm for my 30th birthday. I know you only look no, 27 now. We went to Benidorm for your 30th birthday. Get it fucking right. Oh, sorry. We went to Benidorm. No. You you's went to Benidorm. Yeah, that's right. That's better. Like, they went to Benidorm for my 30th birthday. A lot of you know what happened. A few of you probably won't. So we get to the airport. I didn't like flying. So I threw a wobbler in the airport. I said, there was a lot of us went about 10, 12 of us went for my birthday. So I said, you go. So we all sat there. It's just ready to board. Then they, all, then they all was nervous, so they all started crowding me, surrounding me, saying, oh, then, oh, then. I said, you just get on. I said, leave me alone. You just get on the plane. So, like, big dog then. Like, I didn't even knew, knew him that long. I didn't knew what you were up to. I fucking knew it. Yeah, but I didn't think, I didn't think I'd, be, I'd, like, I really thought it was going. So, then, anyways, we get, we started boarding. I said, oh, don't, don't kick me. I said, what's up now? I said, you're flying home today. I said, don't say you've lost your passports or something. I said, because I just can't be done today. No, it's your suitcase. I said, yeah. Don't let us put in the plane. I said, what do you mean? Won't it? I said, it's fucking paid for. Oh, no, because you're not here. They won't... Uh... They need to see your passport. Yeah, they, they want to see your passport. Check it in. I said, tell me I paid for it. I didn't go. <laughs> Explain the story to him. Right, you So he explains the story to him. Well, it didn't work. Didn't work. It's phoned me back. <laughs> Don't 70 quid off you. I said, tell him I've paid. Yeah, the, the, the only way you're going to get the suitcase sold by paying 70 pound. I said, that's one that would pay 70 pound for me. And I saw, I'll sort out when we get home. There you go. So anyway, it gets me fucking suitcase home. And then that was oh, in no, that. the one before that. The funny story was there. Two of them, before we got on the plane, sat there, we'd been, been up all night, it was early, early flight, so we'd been up all night drinking, sat in the balcony. So we never know, Kip gets picked up in the transfers, and like one of the lads was just, he had earphones in, we were singing, by like blaring, like singing, oh, oh. one lad said, one lad said, he fucking wants this shit. <laughs> Don't know, we it all the way at the airport, right? Gets to the airport, like we've had, we'd had a good week by then. We were absolutely hanging, just wanting to get home. So we're going home, we're just queuing up at the thingy to get through. And one of them goes, Ah, oh, what are you looking in there for? The... And one of the other lads said, I swear down if you say what I think you're going to say, so I will knock you clean out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Just shut your mouth and get on the. Yeah. Just, I, I, I don't want no dramas. I was sat there, I was giggling, maybe I had him, maybe. Maybe we got through with that. He's going, you know what he's going to say, don't you? You know what he's going to say, Bob. I said he wasn't, he said he was. He said we wouldn't have got through. He just wanted to get on the lad, he was fucking, yeah, class. So that's the first time. So the second, so I does a test flight to Bristol with my mate. I thought, I won't have to do a test flight here to go to Bristol just to see if I can do this flying. So I did a test flight at Bristol. Didn't like the flying, but then didn't have no money left to get home. Obviously, it was just Bristol and back. So I, I haven't been in trouble ever in my life, like never been in trouble. So my mate goes to me. So we just, are we going to walk about Bristol? Are we just going to wait at the airport till we go on? I said, no. I said, we just going to... I never heard nothing off any of them, so I thought everything must be going all right. But the day after they come home, so I, but I'm on the phone, they saying I'm going to drive over and meet you there and all that. 
I never did like just talking on my ass on no, that. Pyros really. No, but I, I was scared. I was scared of flying, obviously. So the day they're coming home, I get a phone call. Kirk. Please. Yeah, so we get on the plane. They're, they're, they're on the plane. And I saw Mick is on there. So he's big dog saying, I'm getting off, I'm getting off. Known, now knowing that I wasn't going to get on, didn't you? But they already shut the doors. So he, he couldn't get off the plane. I'm oh, I never. I was up with you, you said just fucking leave me alone. Just yeah, leave me alone, I'll get on in a minute. Just I'll, 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 just leave me, just get on, I'll be on in five minutes, you said. Yeah. So So I get on, then the door's shut. Yeah, then the door's shut. So there's they're flying, so they're flying off. So as they're flying off, I'm trying to get back through customs. So the the, the border force said says me, where are you going? I said, I'm going home. I said, what do you mean you're going home? I said, well, I'm going home. He said, well, why haven't you got your flight? I said, look, I don't like flying. I'm going home. Just let me out, please. Well, where's your luggage? I said, luggage, my luggage is on the plane. I said, well, where's your plane? I said, it's took off. So he's looking at me, he's always like, freaking, is he fucking warm me up? I said, no, I mean, like, very serious. I said, well, I would have done like. I said, I said, just let me out. I said, my luggage is on the plane. I've got no luggage. I said, I just want to go home. I said, I don't like flying. He said, well, what did we come to the airport for? I said, well, I thought I was going to fly, but I didn't want to. I said, it's my 30th birthday. I said, we'll come with a group, all my mates. I said, no, I've got it here now. I don't want to go. All right, we'll have to put you back through. So anyways, I put you back through security. So I get home. And that's when the fun started. <laughs> uh, so Big Dog gets done by the... Oh, no, he, he, he didn't he get lost. He got lost. So the first night he gets there... <laughs> He obviously they'd never been to Ben Norm before, so the first night first night he gets there, he's walking on Ben Norm for how many hours is it? Flies up, gets changed. As you do, thought I'm going out. Never thought like I don't know where the fuck I'm going, but what 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 did how long were you lost for? Paul. Oh four hours. Four or five hours, then I saw me up and I'm going fucking back though. He was looking for the Lux Mile apartments. He was asking taxi drivers and people for the what? Low mix. For the Lumi. I thought it was called Lumix and like they were just looking at me as if to say, where the fuck's that? And I'm thinking, oh, my God. So hey, when, do you know that roundabout near, when you're coming in? Yeah. With the Benidorm one? Yeah. I was up near that. I don't know how many fucking mile I've done. Oh, you've done some mileage. So anyway, he ends, ends up finding the hotel. Never found the beach first. I found the beach. Walk straight up, I thought, it's like, I know it's this way. Yeah, so he goes and finds the beach. So as he's there, the second night, the lad who went with started kicking off in a pub. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't there, so Big Dollar said this part. Uh, yes, we all sat in the joke as it was. We all sat in jokers. And one of the lads who was with us sat going, aye, 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 just, just enjoying himself. He wasn't like being like fucking abrupt and out like that. Next minute, I just seen these bouncers, must have been about five or six of them. One's like stood over one corner, one stood the other, the other one stood behind us, just staring over. So I'm going to him, just calm down a bit, man. Just then the, the head bouncer must have come over, seen us, comes over, says to him, Hey you, you need to chill, chill out, chill out. And he goes, Come with me. So I'm sat there, I'm going, do not go with him. Never been there before, I'm gonna fucking clue what's going on. And I'm thinking, please don't go with him. So the lad gets up, walks out the door, I'm thinking, oh my god, he's gonna get fucking smashed in. About ten minutes later he comes back, oh sorted. Well, just bought a fucking ten a bag of weed up. <laughs> you what? <laughs> he said come and ten a bag of weed, he was in his room all fucking all of this, stored out his head, he never come back out. Yeah, so this So it worked. So so it definitely worked so on oi oi. Yeah. So then it my phone rings. If he listens to it, he'll know who he is, won't he? Yeah. So my phone rings. And as soon as I hear this, soon as I hear this phone, so when Big Dog's are after something, it's Keck. Oh, I never called you Keck then. You did. It was Grum, I think. No, it was Keck. Keck. Or oh, it might be in Grum, but when he talks like a low, uh, a low tone. Yeah. Grum. Or Keck. Whatever it was, anyway. <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> But like when he phones up, he's like, usually, uh, I like Keck, what are you doing? Oh, <clears throat> where are you going? Where have you been? 
But when it's a low tone, you, you know, it's rather summered up or he's like... I'm after summer. He's after summer, so it was grown as a dawn. So what's <laughs> happened? Go on, tell them. Yeah. Yeah, so we're walking down with the lads and draw the payment with the tapies and that. So I sat there and I was like, just watching them. And like, they're, they're winning, but I know that now, do you know what I mean? They have people around and they're winning, they pass some money and that. So I'm, and he's doing it like that, and like I'm getting closer. So I get in, like in with a mix. And I've just seen this little red ball, like popping out of the tape. I thought, hey, fucking hell, you want piece of business? So I goes, yeah, last 50 euro. I'll do it. That one there, mate. We're like that, boom, fuck all there. It's in the middle. I'm, th I'm going, it's not the same. <laughs> What they do, they surround you. Oh, I went you, white. If you've never been to Belladon, what like you stood there watching, next week you're at the front. Yeah. And as they're doing it, they're clever the way they do it. But like you, you can't win. You can <laughs> see the ball in there, there is there, and you can actually see it, but when they've done something, it fucking go, it disappears, you know what I mean? I felt like crying really. I really I did. I thought, for fuck's sake. So it's a phone call, Kirk. But I didn't know who the fucking payment were at this point. So I like read up about it. Kek, what? You couldn't uh, transfer some money over, could you please? I said, money, I said, you can't run out already. No, I had 50 euro left, and I've just been done by the payment. I said, what the fuck's a payment? <laughs> oh, they had these titties. But as soon as you mentioned the titties on the box, I'd heard about like, I thought, I don't know what uh, it's I said, what fans don't like, you can't win on them. Yeah, but I, f I seen the ball. I said, yeah, I said, but the fucking, that's what they do, they just take your ball, they take your money off you. Well, I don't know, like, we transfer some money over, I saw you. So anyway, I said, put, stay on the phone, or whatever. I said, give him the money. I said, now I'll make sure it's back so quick, as soon as you get home. I said, I'll sort it out for him when he gets back. And he's giving me back when he, get, earlier, when he gets paid. Is that the rest of I don't, I don't know, I'll stay on, we're going to have money. So I said, you just give me his money. I said, and then, I'll sort the money out when he's get home. All right, well, so they give him, gives him some money. So the next day, so, so there's murders on at this time now, but over these fucking, what they're called, air fever tablets. <laughs> so they blame me for stashing them. I said, I haven't touched them because my passport got stashed. They thought that stash is it. I spray hadn't. So this day, we hadn't seen Big Dog. I thought, where the fuck's he? So I panicked. I think, well, well, like, where's he gone? When he comes in, absolutely steaming, absolutely full of Captain Morgans. So as he comes in, my, my mate doesn't like having hairs in his chest, so he, he uses this uh, <laughs> this nair cream that like, gets rid of like obviously he gets rid of your hairs. An imac, isn't it? Imac, that's it, imac, yeah. But it's called like nair. So <clears throat> he walks in, gives a bit of that. What for? Me bush. I saw me bush yeah, out. He used to torture us, didn't he? You've got to eat these fucking bush. He used to say, Yeah, I ate, ate these bush. So the next minute, he puts it all down his thing. Falls asleep. So he gets up, doesn't he? Goes to the toilet. There's airs all over his hands. Big fucking, remember your hand in the air? Just airs everywhere. Yeah, I remember that. What the fuck have you just done? So he runs in at us all, gonna batter every one of us on us. I said, You've done it yourself. I fucking wouldn't have him. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I said, get a shower and wash it all off. I said, you put it down there. I fucking didn't. So he's running at me, he's running at my mate. I said, look, here's a video. So I showed him a video. He's sorry, lads. Uh, I thought, I thought you just done that. He said, what does it do? I said, well, go and wash it off and I'll show you. <laughs> so he jumps in the shower, wash it off, he goes. Hey, it's all right, that, isn't it? Uh, my things. My, it my, looks a bit bigger. It's a bit bigger. <laughs> Where did get that from? <coughs> I'm going to start using that, he yeah. said. Yeah, I could oh. see the cup before yeah, when he was there. Yeah, yeah, you could see it then. Oh, what a fuck. Oh, we've had, we've had some uh, carry on. <laughs> Tell me what the time you lost, said you lost your wristband in the pool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, mate, but you were in general with the kids, were in your yeah, yeah. the apartment. Well, me and my mate went over and we stayed just down the road in the alley apartments, it was. No, it was Levante. No, it wasn't alley. Oh, it was the Levante Club, Levante yeah, Club, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Levante, because I remember the... Yeah, definitely the Levante yeah, Club. Yeah, it was Levante. Right. Yeah, so, he goes in, checks in, goes down. 
But I'm asking how much is it going to be? Like all in, like top up for all inclusive, but you only done a week. We're only there for four days. So, so I thought, no, no, we can't do them for four days. I'm like, fuck's sake. So I said, here, I said, watch this, Steve. He said, what? So I <laughs> runs, dabs in the pool, gets out. Jazz myself up, goes to the counter. I said, hey, what it is? I said, I'm dabbing the pool. I said, I've lost me, me wristband. Oh, no, oh, oh, sorry, he said. I never even checked the fuck out. Just give me a blue wristband. All inclusive, for, like, while we were there, I thought, fucking hallelujah. Then Colin does about two days later because I was buying his drinks. <laughs> I've had some carrying over there. Some big dogs getting wristbands for now. Then we've done it in the... Uh, Pop Bennett on, didn't we? Oh, yeah. And got caught. No, you messed us up. I didn't. You did. I wouldn't do for that. For fucking, what they call it, content. No, the video, all the videos on TikTok, by the way, when he got caught. Yeah, because you were good, because you had to pay for your fucking phone, but I went up and just walked straight in, he's fucking fuming. Yeah, but <laughs> well, at least the next time I've done it, you didn't dare do it, did you? No, I'm, I'm sure he went down and said, hey, check his wristband out when he comes for the drink. No, I wouldn't do that. You would for content, when you were filming us. Yeah, because I knew he was going to get caught because they kept talking. It was obviously, you're going to get caught. You can't just think you're not going to get caught when you keep doing that. No fucking smell will be on the fucking counter. So the next time we went, we to tumble the hair in the mushroom. Ah, oh, John Joe. We're coming home, haven't we? Just yeah. not to get our transfers. That we'll go for the brekkie in our face. Wasn't coming till about half twelve. So, <laughs> so we go for the brekkie. Where was he? John Joseph? John Joseph, yeah. I'm sat there. Everyone's chucking in. I said, I said to Claire, what the fuck's that? He said, what? I swear down there to unravel this fucking mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> A big fucking black hair that was it. Chris, I'm not fucking eating this. He dad said, I'm fucking not. I said, well, I'm not. We just stands up and walks on the cottage and we're talking the coasters. Now I'm fucking up here for the cunt, are they? I don't think I'm... You're in half an egg. Yeah, but Dash ran straight in being sick, didn't he? Yeah. Straight in the toilet being sick. Yeah, because some someone's showing me the air. Showed the air, yeah. Everyone's just fucking bad, I think. <laughs> Knocked everyone bad. Yeah. So, that, that, that was another story. So, here's another one. It goes over, just, just me and you this time, wasn't it? I, I had the scooter, me go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... He goes out one morning and locks the door, but I couldn't get out. So I was, I was in the room for three hours. Longer than that, kick. I think I went out about nine. Yeah, I don't think I went back till about two after. Yeah, two. probably longer than that. So, but I, but I didn't, like, I didn't get out. I don't know what, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to go about 12 o'clock, so I'm trying the door, I couldn't get out. I thought, how the fuck am I getting out of this hotel? Where the fuck's he? When Big Dog's away, his phone's off. There's no contact with Big Dog, wise away. So I'm thinking, where's he? So an hour passes, two hours passes. Well, I'm starting to get filming here. So I look down the thing. Next minute I see him pushing this fucking mobility scooter, riding the mobility scooter bridge. See him pushing it. I'm looking, I'm thinking, is that Big Dog? <laughs> so he fucking is. Well, he's pushing it with the handbrake on. Well, I don't fucking know, do I? I'm not joking sure when I say red on that. It was fucking absolutely boiling. So he pushes this. All the way back to the hotel, I said, where the fuck have you been? Fuck off, you. Where have I been? I've been pushing this fucking daft thing. He's brown with battery. I said, let me out. So he comes upstairs, lets us out. So me and him are fucking arguing like fuck. Two minutes later, we're back. Pals. We only really argue for a couple of minutes, we're back pals, you know what I mean? So I goes down, he's dripping with sweat, his T-shirt. Oh, so it was sudden, my name Rick, just... Ring and wet. I said, what have you done, like? You've been out of battery? I said, we pushed it. Yeah, because I'm at this little, little bank here, Kate. And my fucking back's gone. So I goes yeah. over. I lift the lever at the back where the... Amber. Yeah, glad enough. I, I pushed up the bank. He said, what's that? I said, the Amber. You've got to be kidding me. I said, no, I'm not kidding you. It wouldn't have been that. It would have been nice words. You fucking joking. Yeah, yeah you fucking joking. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> I know what I'm saying. So, <sighs> gets, it, gets it back. So we, we find all over Ben on these scooters. Yeah, but hang on a minute. It took me fucking two and a half hours to push this fucking scooter from Jokers. So I'd have been back on time, half twelve, to like, most probably be up now. So I'm getting back on time, but like, obviously, 
It took me about two hours to push it because Jokers to the fucking Bonham Vista's a fucking queer, ain't you know? Yeah, well, especially pushing them with more bullets. Yeah, but it's, it's only because, right, I'd gone down the curb and it started beeping and someone said, what well, it is, it's out of charge. Yeah, but if you just turn the key, turn it back on it to work. Well, I didn't know that, did I? They said it's out of charge, so yeah, I, I just took their fucking word for it. So if I ever see them again, they're getting a the bat. They're getting a the fucking smack in the fucking nose. <laughs> that was about fucking eight years ago, wasn't it? Right, so, so as this comes, we fly over the, on the scooter. So my battery gets pinched out. Was it my battery? Your, your battery? Your battery. My battery gets pinched out the little basket. I thought, fucking joking. So my back battery's been pinched. Are oh, you joking, aren't you? I said, no. But what we're going to do now? I said, I'll tell him. Next day, Big Dog loses the key for ease. So one had no key, one had no battery. So the, No, I'm sure you'll stash the key so I, you I, can take yours. So you can... No, I didn't. He couldn't come, he come to the hotel and pick up his van. Yes. He's waiting for his reception. Don't. Does he'll be back for 12 o'clock. Hey, look at his face now. You can tell he's no, fucking... No, I'm not honest. This is true. He had no battery, so he took my battery in his key and took like a full scooter. So when he got there, but I'm walking behind him, as if to say, well, you fuck, you're not blaming me. No, these, these schools were back for 12 o'clock. So but, but when we get back to the hotel, I, I seen that, I watched a man, sees a man's van. So I was, I, No, this is after you took yours back with my battery and your keys. Or my keys, because you lost the key. I'm sure you lost the keys as well, so I'm sure you'll fuck No, you. I drove up and he, because he was waiting there in the van. He was waiting with his van outside the Bonavista. Vista. Yeah, in that's after we took that one back and said the other one, we can't move it. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to get to now. So he lost his key. I lost my battery. No, he never. He, he did. You he took did. my battery back with yours. And, I, I, like as if you had a full fucking I didn't, I, we, mobility scooter. Yeah. But and I had fuck all. No, but he picked them up from, from the place. He, he definitely picked yeah, them up. Come, yeah, so exactly. But that was after you took yours back with the... Back with that you never had. You no, just put my hand in. No, because why would he come back to the place? Because the other one never had a battery or a key. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry, yeah. So we get back. He goes, he's there. Now, what, what, what are you going to say to him? I'll just, I said, I'll just say to him, look. I lost a key in the battery for it. I said, like, what can he do? So I get back. Like, he's there. I said, hola. I press the lift. Oh, he's fucking bouncing yeah. away. He said, you supposed to have this back in town. I said, yeah, I said, I've lost the key for it. So no, you told him he had to come back, that's why he come with the van. Yeah, I said, I told you we lost, yeah, that's, that's what I said, I said, I told you we lost the key for it. So I get to the living goes upstairs. No, you never, get yeah. it right. Go oh, then, what to do? What it was, the bloke was stood at the counter talking, uh, the bloke behind the counter about this fucking scooter. And when you go into the Bonavista, the, the lifts are right in front of you. So he presses the lift, right? As soon as the lift's open, he pushes me towards the bloke and goes, right, sort it out with him. I said, there he's there. I said, sort it out with him. <laughs> <laughs> so I've sat there with fucking about 15 <laughs> cent in my pocket. Um, he's, he's shouting, I want 200 judo. I said, well, fuck with him. I've got 200 judo. I'm arguing like, fuck with him. I'm downstairs. <laughs> I said, that's all I've got. It's about fucking three coins in the hand. <laughs> That's all I've got. I'm saying, I'm getting the, I said, well, get the fucking place. No, he goes upstairs to me first, and the lift, he goes to me. Oh, no, he this goes, was after. He, 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 he fucked off. No, but like, he, I said, get the place, and like, I was, I was absolutely bouncing. And he fucked off, he must have put it in the van and fucked off, never got the place in So I goes back up. So I goes, he gets on the door, knocks on the door, he lets us in. I said, he's only getting the place. You're joking. I said, no, he's definitely he's getting the police. I said, we're going to have to wait here for him. So he's going, fuck the fuck. No, I'm thinking, but the, he wasn't anyway. He just thought, he must have thought, he's never getting the fuck another scooter off me. Yeah, yeah. Fucking dramas. What can the police do? So we're not securing him. I said, we're not securing him back, right? Fucking dramas all in there, man. Every time we go. Uh, yeah. So that was number one. <laughs> the next one is where Big Dog become the fucking... He doesn't like me calling him, but like he is a big celebrity in Benelong. You don't have to watch a TikTok to see that, but he just, he just, he doesn't phase him. So, 
his wife, it is, it, well, his ex-wife, Julie, it is suitcases the night before he was going away. Yeah, she, I didn't tell her until the night before. Because he didn't tell he was going away, so she had his suitcases. So you've all seen the one way with the airport with the bag for life, haven't you? It went viral, absolutely, yeah. absolutely huge. But everyone really, I thought, if I don't tell her till the night before, because we'd have been arguing, if I'd have told her a week before, we'd have been arguing for a week, so I'm thinking, I'll tell her the night before, so it's like, not much argument. And like, I didn't know what she was going to do. What he didn't know, she already knew. So when he comes and goes down and get the suitcases, she did them. And all he's seen is some t-shirts from the top. He's going wet, like talk like where's the suitcases? Couldn't find. She wouldn't tell him. So he turned my house with a fucking bag for life, some t-shirts. What the that's fuck's that? He said that's all I've got. I said I haven't got a bag cake. I said I haven't got a bag. I said we're going to get them in the airport. Every airport has a place where you can buy like bags and suitcases. Yeah, Newcastle. Didn't, didn't it? Not Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. Yeah. Not Newcastle. Not there. He finds a bag in it, a Louis Vuitton bag, <laughs> in a fucking bin. I said, there you go, so these were here. And there was a pink bag inside of it, he said, I'm not using a fucking pink bag. So he blames me, so he gets his clothes on this, tries to get through security with her. And the, zip, and the zip didn't work on it, yeah. by the way. Yeah, so like, me, me clothes are hanging out, I've got it under me, yeah. I'm walking through Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We tried to get through first, the bag flight wouldn't let us, so we, we had to go and find this. So we found a bag. The zip didn't work. So, like you say, he's walking through with his fucking. Uh. So, as he gets off the plane, when he's dragged it out, the. It wasn't, yeah. The handle snapped on it. But you did go into that fucking. Yeah, but, that, but he blamed me for fucking. He did go into, like, well, do where the hand luggage goes at the top. Yeah, man. He did go into there, oh, for, man. Like. Some a few seconds, so like and shut the door. So when I went off, when we were getting off, I've just went like that to pull it, like, pull it out, and the handle just come off straight in me hand. <laughs> yeah, so, so straight away I'm thinking, you fucking sabotage, you sabotage the fucking handle. So his clothes have fallen all over the plane. <laughs> <laughs> People are looking at me, so I'm fucking sat there putting them back in. Put, put them back in the case, put it under my arm, because there's no fucking zips on it. Oh, what a fucking carry on that was. Yeah, so we're getting out of time, he's going, oh, you, fucking, to death you, there, you, know. you fucking done that. I said, that, so I didn't do that. I said, well, why would I do that? You, you fucking have. Yeah. I must have lost two stone going through all the airport, just sweating, fucking fuming. Blame me and... again. So I got the blame for that. So that'll lose a good one until we got home, and then... Yeah, yeah. yeah that then, was a laugh, wasn't it? That yeah, one? then she fucking... Sold his PlayStation. If you haven't seen the videos, need to get on with TikTok. Yeah, went to the him. went to the golf right? Sat there. Also, I'm gonna get changed t-shirt and shorts. Sat there and put this t-shirt off that fucking bit small. Look at the fucking bags. Oh yeah, you picked the kids' clothes up as well. I yeah. swear I would have come to there. I thought, hey, fuck you, yeah. you're not fucking beating me, I'm going out in it. Yes, yeah, so you went out in the good good the famous yeah. Gucci t shirt. Yeah, and fuck you as well, yeah, but I was just wear the fuck And he was dancing to it, right? He's off his cut up said, You can't wear that, I said, don't can't watch. LF system. Oh. Uh, the, the the group, their inbox was saying thanks because the video of that went like absolutely massively viral, like Millions and millions, they're factors then. So when he gets home with a computer, his ex wife's looking at him, staring at me now. His ex wife sold his PlayStation, but give him a game back, one game, chucked him out. Yeah, it was fuck all in it. It was an empty case. So she, he was a, uh, the divorce now anyway, but she was a, uh, having an affair. From the bingo. From, from the bloke from the bingo. She'll use my money with the bingo to fucking have, sort herself out. Having an affair with the fucking bingo man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So we, we all know that story on Joey, don't we? So what, what was the next one? Oh, oh yeah, so he won me up all day. Oh no, but I buy I, I buy the I buy the space cake. <laughs> <laughs> I buy a space cake, right? Like, like I said, I've never touched a drug. But I thought, we'll have a laugh, we'll have a fucking scream with this here. If, like, fuck four of it, like, just have a bit each. I thought, so I said, look, what does a space cake do to you? He goes, not really, it's fucking, don't know, not yet. 
I thought, I'm not even going to try it anyway. That wasn't me who said that, it was fucking... Was it Mamie or Gaffer? Yeah, I think, yeah. Was it? Well, one of them said it does, 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 does not, yeah, so I thought, I'm, I'm not going to do it. So I just leave it on the top, not freaking out of it. Well, Big Dog only next it, doesn't he? Eats a full lot. Didn't know it was a space cave. I get to her and say, where's the where's cave from? <laughs> All she does is la laughing at me on the night. <laughs> Sat there laughing at me. Watch the videos. Uh, Honest, all the videos are there for proof. Uh, he was enough. Off his, absolutely off his bracket. <laughs> Just sat there. Uh, One of them on next week. <laughs> screaming, like, laughing. Uh, oh, what a fucking laugh you had. Uh, so he kept winding up and winding me up. Like when he hit the space cake, just warm him to, to, to laugh at me. So I said, behave now. No, I'm not being there. So right about then. So I put a fag bag on his in his uh no. in his fag. What about, fucking 12 in. What about 12 anyway? So I chopped all his fags with his fag bangers. <laughs> well he flipped his lid and he kicked the bottle. Oh fucking bouncing. Yeah, he's fuming. So he kicks a bottle. Fucking five you know a pack. Yeah, and I just put fag bangs in Well you if you want me, what do you expect me to want back? <laughs> I say no, but I, I thought like like one or two is a joke. Three or four, like you get like when it gets to ten or twelve or something, I'm thinking you're taking the piss. Oh do you remember when <laughs> I swear down, mate? He put a fag bang eh, in his own fucking box. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll walk them past I, must, his... I forgot about it now, I'm gonna give you it. Yeah, walking from the corner bar down. And he must have picked his fag for you. Oh, it he, he, he went in his eye and every you go overboard, don't you? So he's walking down on the on the edge. Spiked himself. Yeah. So that... Oh, oh, I'm going blind and all that he goes overboard. You know, you're not just like stay. Yeah, so so this I was, this fag was, fag was meant to give big dog. It, I forgot about the night, the, the day after, so I like jumping and blows up my face. Well, he fucking didn't have blood, didn't he? In my eye and everything. So, like, he's, he's crying again, laughing at me now. So I get home from Benidorm. No triangle bar. I was fucking fuming. That nearly fucking blinded me. I was the triangle bar when he got us. He did fucking bend me fucking yeah, eyelash and pupil, I think. Yeah, that's why you can't see it properly now. Now it's bouncing out. <laughs> Yeah, I was arguing with So I get home from this holiday and I goes up the back for a fag. Well, there was only another one in one, wasn't there? Fucking put the shits up me, so I jumps, right? I think that, that's in the fag, but there's no more. So what, what's the next What's the next part? Ah, I won't Fuck Fucking hell, there's that, that many, I you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, so we sat there one day on the balcony. Big me, me and Big was was my birthday, so me and Big Dog done like this is my first drink. But I, I can't drink much I'm only like little drinker. Well he, he he can drink. So he gets up to 16. The video's on there. My name's Darren and the room's spinning. Darwin, I was saying. But he was saying Darwin. But every drink he had he was starting to sit top. Sat top normal. Yeah, sat top normal. <laughs> so he's going, my name's Darwin, this is my first drink. If you haven't seen it, go to Grummet underscore Benidorm. No, Benidorm underscore Grummet and does a big dog Benidorm on TikTok. You can see all these videos what I'm talking about. So, anyways, he does that. So he gets up rough. He goes, I'm going again. I said, you can't go again after that. Well, I have to. Because it, it made me feel, I can't feel like this all day. Because he won't take the past seat more than out. He said, I'm not, he said, I'm, I'm just going to go and get a, a drink now, have a few. So he, he said, get your video ready. So me, just sat there, innocent, done nothing wrong at all. He goes, my name's Darren, and I'm on my second wind. But as he said it, my mate Dash throws a jumper at you, didn't he? And hits him in the oh, face. Oh, fucking yeah. The, the, his arm, the arm hit me in the eye. And, but like, he shot it at us dead hard. I think you fucking little knobhead. Yeah, so he picks the first thing up, what he sees. What was it? I thought it was Dash's passport. Yeah, it was mine. So he flings off the 10th <laughs> <off the tenth, laughs> floor. Off the 10th floor of the balcony, right, he flings his passport off the 10th uh, floor, right. Lands in the pool. <laughs> I said, you're fucking kidding me, yeah. <laughs> I said, it's fucking, he landed in the fucking pool. Off the 10th floor. Uh, lands in the pool. That, that video's on as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when I post that video, everyone said, well, you shouldn't have wound him up. 
I said I didn't know a thing wrong. I said I was the the. I thought, I thought it was Dasu's passport. Yeah, he thought it was the lad's passport or threw it. But obviously it wasn't. It was mine. I just been to get some money changed over. Left my passport on the on, on the thing. And he flings up ten floor. Lads the fucking pole. What a shot. So when I goes down and gets it, comes back soaked and wet as hell. It dries out. So anyways, tries to try and dry it and all that. Oh, see, Bob, Bob, how good was that shot? I could try that a thousand times. That wouldn't happen. I says, my fucking passport. What if I've got a fucking stay? Uh, yes, that was the other one. That was that one. That was that one. It's just, it's just non-stop. Oh yeah, so so Christmas time comes. So he goes over. Me and him. It's only me and my dad, wasn't it? Yeah. So he goes to the old town, there's this big ice rink. He goes, uh it's like I was like riding a bike. Yeah. <laughs> But, he but said, would you go on there to like round the bike? How can I see no, no, he said, I used to go ice skating years ago. I said, have a go. Uh, he, said, he said, nah, he said, fucking what, 10 euro. I said, go on, I said, I'll give you 10 euro. I said, go on, have ice skate. I said, you can't ice skate. Of course I can. He said, I've done it for years. And it's just like riding a bike. <laughs> he, when he gets on, done it, he uh, starts doing a fucking oh, bambi, bambi on ice, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Like that, like, and, uh, my legs weren't working like they used to years ago. So I'm gripping onto the side. <laughs> God, I'm like, that's like a fucking, just like round the mile, I felt like a big dick. Yeah, so they had these little dolphins. Uh, they had these like, little dolphins where the where the man pushes it about, so Big Dog gets on his dolphin and gets pushed about up the block. Uh, <laughs> that video's on there as well. Oh, that, that, was fuck that. that was a laugh on it. Just like riding my bike, me and my dad are crying, laughing at him. <laughs> but by this time, big dogs like sort of like, like sort of like big over there. Not not big, but like he started to get a name now because every video we're putting on was going was going big, was going viral. And then we was in Morgan's tab one night, and he was dancing on the dance floor to wear pretty green eyes, and the man said, "We were seen this well, chicken and fries." Well, that was it, wasn't it? Walks off storming. How did you feel? How, how did you feel at the time? I couldn't. Really, I, I can't remember it all the next day. But like I, I looked a bit. But he walked out. He, he walked out this out out the pub. He said, "I'm going." So I, I said, "I've got." I said, "Bra, I was with him at the time." I said, "What's the matter now?" One of the best songs in the world, "Pretty Green Eyes." He starts singing fucking fried chicken and fries or something. So next day I'll go over my videos. I say that one. I was and he heard me laughing didn't you? in, in the yeah. bedroom. He said, "What are you laughing at?" I said, "Come here, watch this." We're both crying, laughing at the fucking <laughs> chicken fried rice video. Well, that was it. Uh, it just went absolutely mental. Everywhere he went, uh, can I have a picture of you? Can I have a picture of you? So we, we thought we thought it all like he died off, didn't we? We thought not, we, we we thought that it all it, it all calmed down to us. Just kiss kind of one after all. So so after a few months, we thought it all died down. By this time, we've been in lad barbell. Fucking Daily Miller, Daily Star, New York Town, yeah, <laughs> New York. But, yeah, that was that's the next part. Uh, but this time, he, like, he'd only been on TikTok for four months. He'd been in Lad Barber for eight times, seven newspapers. I said, You were gonna get fucking starting to get mobbed, you know. Shut up, man. So I'm telling you, well, it started, didn't it? Walking down the street, oh, can I have a picture, can I have a picture. Everybody asking for a picture goes into a bar. Next minute, he's on stage singing with Chrissy Rock. Weren't you? Yeah. Erasure. Oh, what song was it? Respect. Yeah, yeah. Erasure. So then we go, we, so that, 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 so that time's done. So it goes back in about, about the March time. And it's sat, we, we stay, we've got a, we've got a cheap, all oh, this, we've got chucked out the hotel, didn't we first? We had a man arguing with us for the fucking, where we couldn't go out the gate. Oh, yeah, near the fucking crown. Yeah, so this man, we booked a hotel. He said, oh, this is uh, such and such a hotel. So we get there, right, it was a bit gate, was gated off. I thought, how do you get out of this? So I, I inboxed him on Facebook, that's where I booked it. No, we were stood there passing keys out for yeah, people to walk in, wouldn't open yeah, from the outside. Yeah, couldn't open it, so I, the inside. Yeah. We're passing the keys out to people to them, like, do you speak English, yeah? yeah you Can try you open that? Yeah. So we couldn't get out, we stuck behind the spot. <laughs> so he mocks the bloke, I said, we can't get out. He ignored me. Tried to phone, he ignored me. 
So me and him had to sit there, right? So we didn't have a drink, we didn't have nothing at all. So we had to go back upstairs. We couldn't get out, it was a big fucking massive fence. Bouncing in the morning, Yeah, we're filming, so he comes. So I said, I said, how, how did you get out? Why just press the fucking button? That's what he said to me. Yeah, but, but I didn't get one thing. I said, what button? He said, round the corner. So why didn't you fucking tell me about the button? Round the corner. If you're going to be cheeky, you won't stay. I said, yeah, fucking shove your top your ass and we'll go. So we get all the stuff walks out and we fume and couldn't find anywhere. So we ended up staying in the, find a cheap one in the Port Benidorm. So I'm sat there one day. Yeah, went up the light, didn't it? Huh? Oh. Yeah, in the Port Benidorm. Oh, we went from... Like, <laughs> We went, we went from uh, so warm little living like yeah. kings. <laughs> so we books his pop Ben on. So I'm, I'm asleep. Then I hear, I hear him uh, talking to, talking. So I'm thinking, who's he talking to? So I'm on the balcony. He had, he had a date this night. He, he'd met someone over there because obviously he had a profile over there now. So people were just wanting pictures with him. So he had a date with a woman. Yeah, she had a profile picture, and that's why I was a bit dubious. Yeah, but it was on TikTok. He was, like talking on TikTok, but she didn't have a profile picture, but. He was going to make it anyway. So he starts going, uh, these women that near him saying, tan the legs, what were they tan the legs. Tan the legs. And I wasn't paying them by any chance, I was just sat there chatting. But they must have knew who he was, so they said to him, put a bit of this uh, false tan on, like it makes you glow. So he goes, pass it here. So he's, he's not dabbing it on, he's fucking absolutely smashed all over his face. So I goes out and said, what's going on here? He says, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look good for tonight for my date. I said, don't put on that thick. No, nah, you've got to put on thick. I said, no, nah. I said, do it. I said, here, let me do it. So I started dabbing him from him properly. Yeah, we thought, Jeremy, see what's telling you. Yeah, she was telling me what to do. Yeah, I said, look, yeah. I said, put false tan all over his face, thick. He said, what's it called? I said, Bondi of Sands. So I'm, right, you need to wash it off now. I said, right. I said, what do I do first? So he said, just dab it in, get, get a sock and dab it in his face. So I'm sat there dabbing it in his face and all that. I said, right, you need to leave, you have to leave it on for 20 minutes and wash it off. What you going to do? Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Well, he come on, listen, listen to this. He tried to wake me up, of course he did. I tried to wake him up three times. I was did. live at the time. Full of crap. I've got rap. people on here on my TikTok. Who, Full of shit he is. He tried not, to wake me up. I wouldn't I'm, have woke you up. I'm telling you now, I've got people on my TikTok who, would, let me who would vouch for me. I'd let it crust on yours like, I wouldn't have woke you up. No, I didn't wake it up like it. I tried. I tried. Him, no, of course you did. So his face went that dark right. You want to see the videos? Uh, you need to see him. I, if, if anyone edit and put them on this, I would, but I, I don't know how to do it all. But you'd have to watch them on TikTok. So next thing, we get him, it, it's gone viral again. So he was big at the time, so now he's even bigger. So it, it's in the Daily Mail, the Daily Star, the Mail Online, New York Post. It, it's all over the world. It, it's it's a, worldwide. <laughs> So I goes to, I, I get something, I'm getting inboxes off, uh, what they're called, news reporters, can we speak to you about the thing? I said, no. He said, well, can we just have a little story? I said, right. I said, ring me. I said, do we get paid? She went, well, no, not really. I said, well, no, we don't want the story. She said, right, we'll give you 40%. I said, go on then. I said, we'll do it for 40%. So she phones up and tells her the story. Next minute, it's in... Every newspaper possible, Lad Barbel, Uni Lad, everyone you could think of. Daily Mail. Daily Mail. Daily Mail. Yeah, yeah, it was Daily every, every newspaper you get, even even abroad. And if you Google his name, it's even in some loads of Spanish papers. Like he went that big, so now he's he, he he's he's big. Right? He's daft in it. And daft. Yeah. Then after that, we started doing all the pranks that over there. So like we just. Because people know us. Right. We're on that one. We missed three flights, didn't we? Yeah, because I left <laughs> I left the passport. Yeah, you so on this all the right, he said, he gave my dad's, my dad's got a little yeah, apartment over there. To be like fair with me, there was fucking hotels getting robbed. Yeah, but. And like I've passports been... and that getting took. So I'm, I've been told, so I said to his dad, will you mind them? Yeah. Put them somewhere safe. Yeah, put them with yours. And like we know the safe then. But at this time there was airstrikes on. So 
Yeah, we didn't. We were supposed to fly back together. Yeah, the first flight was cancelled, didn't it? The it was French air traffic yeah. control, wasn't it? Yeah, and then when you had tried, you could only do one so, one day until the, the next. Until the next, yeah. So like, I never even thought about the passport. So like, he's going to say like, what did the fuck did you do that for? But so he, he, he I tried to do the right thing. He, he could not backfire. If you try and give him a fly, get him a fly home on his own, it wouldn't happen. He'd end up, he would not get home if you tried to get him up home from there on his own. He wouldn't have got home. So I said, I said, do you want to go up on your own? He went, no, I said, I'll stay with you. I said, right, I said, Dad, you go. You, so, Is that said, one on the Monday? Yeah, I said, Dad, you go on the Monday. So we'll fly back to Monday straight on then. So I'll get this voice waking <laughs> me up. Kek. As soon as he said Kek like that, I thought, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you get the passports off your dad? I said, what, what, what passport? Pa what passports? Our passports. So no, I would want to stay in the in the drawer now. <clears throat> no, I'll give you dad them. I said, my dad's gone home. I know. I said, why did my dad him? You know when I was telling you about Facebook when I seen the hotels and that getting robbed and all that. So I thought I said, my dad's on a flight now. Really? I've, I've done the right thing, but it's just backfired, really, hasn't it? Yeah, so I said, I said, my dad's my dad's on a flight now. He goes. So yeah, so I get his home anyway. So he's telling everyone this fucking James James Bond story on the on the estate. I I got his home from Bristol with no money. But then I couldn't. Even, I didn't have no money at home, so I, like I, I was just stuck. Really, I was just I had fucking no money. So I found big big dog. I says I wouldn't go to Benidorm. I'm not going to Benidorm with you. What for? So you can walk on the plane. I said no. So this time I said I'd definitely get on it. So I went to the doctor's, doctor prescribed me some tablets to fly. Well, I was off my fucking bracket. I've never, I've never touched a drug in my life. Believe it or not, I've never touched a drug in my life. So if you haven't, if you just watch my story on YouTube, my story is on there, scroll down. That's, I've never touched a drug because I was a dad at a young age and I go to work. So these made me off my head. So I was on the plane. So I get on the plane. And he goes, hey, feeling all right? I said, stop saying I'm all right. Are you feeling all right though? I said, I'm all right. Are you all right? I said, I'm all right. Well, he only thought it went funny, didn't he? Because it was about to land. I dropped my phone. So I jumped up and started chasing my phone down the aisle. And they all these arrows said, sit down, sit down. He thought I'd throw a wobbler. I said, drop my phone. Just, we landed, just sit down. So I sits down. So we get to Benidorm. So I was up, I thought, them tablets. I, I, I want to fly the plane myself, I thought I'll fly it. So it goes, where we put Bowers, where we bought the t-shirts from? Oh, the Gallagher. Gallagher, yeah, that was it. This woman walks in the Gallagher with a suitcase, opens up on a pool table. She goes, anyone interested in any of these t-shirts for two euro each? So me and him looks, didn't we? Yeah. I said, we better not these out over here for fucking five, euro. five euro, six euro easy. I said, I said, should we buy a load? The cost. Nike, I did all different makes, weren't it? Yeah. I said, buy a load. He goes, I'll shot 50 euro in, you'll shot 50 euro in. And we'll fucking knock them out over here. So we buy them. <laughs> so what about this, these fucking 50 fucking t shirts? Yeah, the fucking hand luggage, fucking yeah, and carry on, fucking yeah, dragging what, this fucking. What, what, what was the suitcase I was on? The suitcase all, all day for fucking five days. Trying to knock these t shirts out, would no one fuck buy them? No, I, oh, I, think, I think we sold two. Oh, you sold two? In the Union Jack. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> I think we sold two, yeah. <laughs> so he goes back and goes, uh, yeah, look what I've done. So what? I've only sold two t shirts. Fuck, get up there. So we gets talking to this bloke outside the air. Uh, I, I won't mention the bar because. I don't want him like uh, ties up next time before you see him over there. And the bouncer outside the bars, elbow on the fucking road sign and all that. So look at him fucking elbow on that road sign. Fucking, we're starting calling him arm bar. One of arm bars up night. <laughs> so anyways, he gets talking. He seems all right, he's all right, lad. Yeah, he seems all right, yeah. So you want to buy any t-shirts? So how much? It's five euro. He said, leave him with me. He said, and I'll, when you go back, he said, we'll go back Saturday. Fucking hell, I'll get, I'll get rid of every one of them by Saturday. I said, well, you'll give us five euro, whatever you make on them. He said, I'll get ten euro for them all day long, didn't he? Yeah. So, we didn't have a fucking rap. And when I say not a rap, we didn't have a pain, did we? No, but, yeah, 
No, I did. I, we sold a couple. I think we sold a couple more. You know, that's uh, the wedding. When at the other bar, it was a birthday, and I, I, I blew it all on. <laughs> I blew it all on fucking cocktails. <laughs> oh yeah, cocktails. So he, he so uh, oh yeah, so he comes back with these like two cocktails, me and him, and those fireworks were out and boo, 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 like those. I said, what's them? Two cocktails, fifteen euro. I said, what about them? Oh, I saw some more tea shirts, haven't I? Oh, yeah. I said, I'm going to be now. Five. So we get talking to this bloke outside the arm bar, mm -hmm. we call them, because he just, uh, every time I went there, I oh, smashed someone in last night. He was, was always on about fight. Yeah, I've done this, I've done this to someone, I've done this to someone. But we didn't have a night, never seen one bit of trouble, not one. <laughs> I thought, he's just having a laugh. He, there's no way he's fucking doing all this. So we sit outside when it was boiling, and like, just, he didn't see us. We sat there, goes in the next night, and we were there, they closed, he finished, so we goes next night, oh, there was fucking chow all over last night in here, I flung these Geordies out, he was from that way on, yeah, there must have been 10 of them, and I knocked two out, I done this, I done that, I thought, it's so fucking lying, so we, <laughs> so we start saying, you're full of fucking shit, so we sat and watched you, I said, how's the t-shirts going, well, when you go back, I said, Saturday, they'll be going by Saturday, don't you worry about that, they're one of the campsites buying them, so all right, so the first night comes, we did not have a penny left, did we? Yeah, we never had a fucking button. We didn't have a euro between us. I said, go and see Armbar. I said, yeah, so we're in the Luxmar. Yeah, we're in the Luxmar. And he, like, he was just uh, one of the bars near it. I said, we're going to see Armbar <laughs> now. We'll see how many t-shirts he's sold. I said, just get somebody off him, because we can't sit here, can we? So he goes up, says, uh, give us a couple of quid off them t-shirts, we've got no money. Oh, yeah. Uh, Excuse, was it? I don't carry cash on me. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I don't, yeah. I don't carry, I yeah. don't carry cash on me. I said, oh, you fucking joking, aren't you? So, I see the mother one. He said, so what I'll do is I'll meet his eat mother and I'll bring everything down. So I let go then. So he goes back to the hotel room, fucking skinned, not a penny left. Put all the money, think we're on a. Uh, put all the money in these t-shirts, think we're uh, going on Dragon's Den. <laughs> So anyways, we goes up on the Friday to meet him. I thought, we're going to get the money off him now, then cut him the quid there for us. Go on, next. Tell him, tell him, what, he, tell him what he did. Yeah. So he goes, so goes back to meet him. He's still there. I think he only saw one. He had a suitcase full of T-shirts. He said, I can't get rid of them. I'm the fucking joke of me, aren't you? And he's a bouncer, right? I say, you fucking wind us up. <laughs> He goes, no, he said, I've sold one. I said, one? Yeah. I said, he's taking a fucking piss on you. He goes, no, well, Big Dog, I could see Big Dog getting chowed. I thought, don't. I thought, don't, uh, don't be frotting him here. So I said, now, now what are we going to do? I said, we're going to fly home with fucking 48 T-shirts. <laughs> I said, we're stuck. I said, what, what's the point? He said, you tell me if you couldn't get rid of them. I thought everyone would buy him. I said, you're going to have to get his drink from behind the bar. See, the manager behind the bar gets, gets a party each. He goes, oh, will he? So I've got to see him. So anyway, he gets a party each. So we we going up. So not his t-shirts down now to free you. Oh, well, I think that's where we fucking... That's where I got the fucking thing. It's because we had like a day left to fucking get shot of Get him. shot of him, yeah. We started doing days with people, didn't we? Yeah, loads, yeah. Loads of yeah. Spikes, three, spikes. three for fucking yeah. 10 three, euro. Three for 10 euro. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I said to him, I said, look, I said, we're going yeah. tomorrow. I said... These are going to get binned or we're going to get rid of them. I said, so we're going to have to just fucking ask anybody. So we just see gangs of lads. All right, lads. Uh, look at these t-shirts here. Fucking, go on, we'll do your four for a tenner. Oh, he's four. So we just sell them all over, haven't we? Yeah. Got our money back. It was a bit late then because we flew home like early hours that morning. <laughs> so me and him goes out. So we got picked up for the transfers at four o'clock. I said, no man going to bed, so I might as well stay out and get picked up. That's right, yeah. Well, I don't drink, but when I fly, when I used to fly, I'd take my tablet. He was like, I had to be mortal. So we get on the plane. Well, me and him gets on the plane singing, oh, what a night. And I didn't even know nothing about this, so I looked at my video the next day. The video's on TikTok, by the way, if you haven't seen them. So me and him, me and him are singing, oh, what a night. He said, I'll tell you, who off your bracket. Yeah, well, obviously I was off my bracket, because <laughs> I wouldn't have gone on the plane. I was drunk as I could. Yeah, he, he's mortal. <coughs> with a flat cap on. And I'm, me and him are singing, oh, what a night. Scroll down the videos on the TikTok, Ben underscore Groom, you'll see these videos. 
Anyways, I'm saying to get off the plane. I, I, I know nothing about this video until you woke up. Until I woke up. So anyway, this Benenor thing then become a Benenor thing, didn't it? So it, we got the bug. It hit us. Yeah. So we all went away for my son's birthday. Where we're going? Benenor. Let's go to Benenor. So we all goes. Was that myself for the cameras? No, that's the next part yeah, of it. Does, yeah. That's in a bit. It's when uh, Manny was Manny was in hospital when he was at Septus. Oh, yeah, yeah. My son got to the hospital night before they went with Septus, so I, I couldn't go. So, you went, didn't you? How come we up? Oh, no, he stayed back with me. He, he, he said, I, I, no, he wasn't going on this, he wasn't going on this one. So I says to him, uh, uh, you just go and I'll... I'll uh, meet us all there, like see, see if my son gets any better. If, if he does, I'll, I'll get there. But he, 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 no one could wake him up, so I, I played a song. I played a song into him, a song he liked uh, by Gladness, and he woke up straight away. So my son's 18th birthday, and all my like was, was fucking absolutely loads of us went. Yeah. Like, any amount, it was like loads of us went. So. Big dog, why, why, why didn't you go? Like, I said, no, I, I said, I'll fly with you. Yeah, he, said, I don't like flying on my own. I said, well, I'll stay yeah, back. Said, and if yes, you can go, I'll oh, come back yeah. with you. I'll come with you. Yeah, so they were there for a week. So I said, we've got plenty of time. I said, so if he, if, if he goes, he goes. He said, if not, I said, if not, I said, I'm not bothered. I said, the lads enjoy themselves anyway. The first day we get, the first days of the go, I scroll through his Facebook. I see his picture. This man has lost his party. He slept on the bench outside outside this hotel. <laughs> he, do, he doesn't know where his friends are staying. It was only one of our mates, wasn't it? Carter. <laughs> so I comments on it. I says, are you with him now? He goes, yeah. I said, tell me his hotel's behind him. So she she tells him the hotel's behind him. He's going to snort. I said, tell him it's Grummet. I said, tell him the hotel where he slept the bench. I said, that's where he's staying. That hotel. So, anyways, if it was like, but this man was his party, he looks really vulnerable and stuff like that. <laughs> Wasn't it? Big Facebook, big massive post. He looked proper rough. He had a white t shirt on, right? It was black. Yeah. But he slept on the bench. <laughs> so, he finds his party. So, my son my son gets a bit better. So, Gemma goes, fly for the last two days with them. I said, I don't want to go for two days. No, go on. Because, like, my son, son's 18. He's like, you, you fly over. So, I said to him, so we go for two days, said, how are we then? So we flies over. We as a laugh. My cousin goes, but my cousin's fucking off his nut. <laughs> so he goes to square one, my son's mate. Starts on three bounces. I'll take his all three on. So when the three bounces come running at him, he pushes my son's mate in the way. So my son's mate gets like a, he, he, goes, he gets his nose broke, his nose was bent. Come back, so what's happening here? One of the bounces of braids outside of uh, in the square. So what for? Oh, he said his little, your cousin said his little one threw me in the middle of it all and done one. <laughs> I said, all right. I said, that was all right, wasn't it? He said, no, I'm not coming back no more. So this night, Big Dog kept us up all night. Every time I went to sleep, he was coming in, singing, dancing, full of fucking Captain Morgans. I said, I'll get you back tomorrow. I said, when, you, when you're sober, I said, we'll get you back tomorrow. I said, don't worry about that. <laughs> So anyway, we go and goes to bed. Next minute, he's put, putting the music on full whack in the like the the room. So we're not getting no sleep. Anyways, he stays up all night, doesn't he? So he goes downstairs. He's only asleep on the sun lounge, won't he? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's flat out here. So now, so what we'll do? I said we'll get a side each. I said we'll hoy him in the fucking pool. He's flat out on the sun lounge. Yeah. So I said, keep him as a ball night. So we all got a thing each. Would, couldn't wake him up. I said, do it gently. You would have fucking tried. No, we didn't try. So no, we fuck, yeah, exactly. You couldn't wake him up. This video is on. Because I never tried. This video is on there as well, if he's watching. So he gets the sun lounger, right? And throws him in the pool with a sun lounger as well. So he wakes <laughs> up. He says, you fucking did it. You could have given me a fucking heart attack. I said, yeah, well, I couldn't get up. Yeah. Underneath the sun lounger yeah. in the head. I'm fucking <laughs> dickhead. Yeah. I'm 
While we're on that, can I tell my little story about what Saturn's was on there? Which one we were it's, it's, it's not very long, let know why you went in the scene, you were drowned in. Oh, yeah, fuck you. While well. we're on there, you're right. We goes to Saturn's <laughs> was on there. And he goes to where. Uh, he goes to. He says, I'm red hot, he says, I'm going for a little swim in the sea. I said, I'm not going to see cake. I said, I don't like getting full of mud. I full of sand. I said, it fucking does me nothing. He said, he was waiting here. So I, I, I just sat, sat and waited with, with one of my... Jan, wasn't it? With Jan, yeah. Like, my mate's Nana. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was just sat there, just waiting for him to get back for. It was, it was a nice day, sat there. Next minute, I see these big dogs, head pop, bobbing up and down. Pull them waves were fucking... So Jan goes to me. I think Darren's in a bit of difficulty. I said, I said he's not. <laughs> I said he's waving. I was going to say his arms doing all this thing, yeah. So I'm looking at that. I said, no, he's all right. I said, there's some people just yeah, like swamp. Bloke. Yeah, two, two blokes. Blokes went past us. Yeah. Are you all right, mate? I'm sat there drowned. I went, oh, yeah, Paul, thanks. Yeah. And he just swam off. I'm thinking, what the fuck have I done there? I'm just saying, no, mate, can you help us out? Ends up actually crawling, like, from crawl all the way back to the rocks, cause the rocks just went from that to yeah, so like a big it. drop. So I said his arms waving about. I said, so I said to John, then I said, yes. So I started running over, trying to like run over like David Hasselhoff. <coughs> Next minute, he ends up getting on the pole. He, he couldn't breathe. He's like, <gasps> I said, are you all right? No, I've seen he drowned a kick. <gasps> like, could not breathe. I swear down. I said, well. I said, why didn't the fucking man up you draw who, who swam past you? He said, he asked me if I was all right. I said, yeah. I said, what did you say yeah for? I'm not sure, master. <laughs> I said, you're going to fucking kill yourself. Well, I'm not sure, master, fuck. Uh, yes, that's another little story. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, what's one we've done now? Yeah, we've done that one. Sun lounge, yeah, we've done that. So, nearly drowned in there. So we, we all go, so next time we go, this is better than thing now. Everyone's, we get everyone to go. So it was me and Gaffer. Just laugh on there. Gaffer, me and me. We bought the, the salt pelicanos for two people. We all, there was eight of us chipped in, it cost us about 30 euro each. So we get to this room, right? It was two single beds. So he goes that. So a big dog comes in. How the fuck do you expect that all of us are fitting here? I said, we're going by a lot, though, five euros, so we put them over the floor. There's eight of us kek. I said, yeah. I said, so six lavos? Yeah. Job done. Are you sure it'll work? I said, of course it'll work, man. <laughs> I said, you fucking going with six lavos. <laughs> so I'll come back with these lavos, the hotel. Uh, so when you got in, like some people went home early, so we were getting, it, like some, we, we late, late night ones, yeah, aren't we? We don't go a lot. Even though I don't drink that much, I'm out late anyway because... Yeah. We don't go out late, yeah, really. we, we don't go out at 10-11, yeah. So we get back about 5 in the morning, but we've fallen over everyone on the Lalo's and that. Everywhere you look, was the, the video and that's on TikTok as well. Everyone just asleep everywhere. He gets pickpocketed, doesn't he, this night? So the goes in his pockets, tell me what they've done. Went to cuddle you first, didn't they? Huh? Went to, she went to cuddle you. Went to cuddle me first, yeah, took 30 old of us. Yeah. I just walked in like, I must go for me to you, Waker. And I went like that. I thought, oh, fuck it. I told you, I'm 30 old ones. I thought the dodgy could. So, so I said, no. I'm saying, oh, look back like that and I started running. Well, I'm, I'm a big lad, do you know what I mean? But I'm thinking, you're not getting away from me, you fuck fuckers. Yeah, you so I'm running, I've got this bottle of bud in my hand. I'm saying, if I catch you, I'll fucking kill you. I said, just give me. And they sat there and I kept on running, so I shot this bottle of bud. Smashed just behind them. Ran a bit further and they just stopped. They come and give me my money back. <laughs> so, then they fucked off. The dodgy cut fucking morning like fuck. Next minute, walking down, goes to like the main strip sort of thing. Walking back towards your hotel. Bobby's pulled Yeah, up. we got pulled up by the police, don't we? Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm saying, you're yeah, all in with it anyway. Who's in with it? Yeah. They're in with it. <laughs> Taxi I'm driver. I'm saying, no. Taxi driver over the road. He's in with it. As a kid, uh, he's a taxi driver. Yeah, they're all in with it. <laughs> you're <laughs> fucking in with it. No, the police are saying, you're going to get arrested. I don't give a fuck. They're all, they're uh, all with it together. So yeah. the next night, we says, everyone's eight of us in the road. No, we're going to come back. 
and blaming oh, them yeah, as well. They were in with it. Even the kebab people were in with it. Next night, uh, we say, we're just going to have a quiet one. Oh, we'll all stay and we'll have a laugh. So he goes, we'll have a laugh, all right. What should I do with you? We'd all be to Mariano's. We haven't been to Benadol. I we'll know where Mariano's is. Chicken so, rolls on it. Yeah, so there's chicken rolls all over, chicken mayonnaise, chicken salad, like what people had left. So he starts going his, in the bin, getting his sandwiches out. I'm saying, what the fuck are you doing? Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'll show you now. He starts filling his pots up with this mayonnaise and uh, tomatoes <laughs> and all sorts of stuff. Let the fucking Let everything like, yeah, fill his pockets up with it. He said, watch this here. He said, if it can get me. So watch what Big Dog does. <sighs> so we stood on the balcony. He goes down a far. So, so he walks past him normal. Well, next minute, well, five minutes later, we see him come staggering, staggering back, <laughs> pretending he was drunk. Well, they were in his pockets when the all jail was ah! <laughs> screaming where they're trying ah, you fucking sad. Yeah, all jail did they went in his pockets, trying to dip him, they're full of fucking chicken mayonnaise. Like, you know, that's what fucking getting me last night. Thinking, ah, fucking yeah, 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 yeah. call them all sorts. So, we all, we all there. All of a sudden, my passport goes missing. I got the blame for that as well. You fucking stashed that. Fucking he did. He's, he's admit, admitted. I've never stashed your passport. He did. So my passport goes missing. So we searched a full apartment for this passport. Couldn't find it. I'm in and out hotels. There, couldn't find it. Everywhere we went, we could not find this passport. Searched the room. I'm not joking, right? <laughs> so I phoned the embassy up in Alicante. I said, look, I said, any chance we can... Uh, Get an emergency. Get a men's passport and get home. I said, we've been two days and I need to get home. Oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. So I says, I'm going to search the room one more time. Where's my passport? Underneath my bed. Yeah, underneath Big Dog's bed. So, like, if, would you anyone put it underneath their bed if they were saying they've never done but it? But I searched his bed four times. So someone's got in and shot under my bed to get me, get me the fucking blame? Yeah, well, one of you's done it. So anyways... If anything, I'm trying to under some cunt else's bed. So... So my passport's getting stashed. So my mate starts saying, I've had his A fever tablets. Oh, yeah. I said, what? You've yeah. stashed my fucking A fever tablets. I said, no. I said, I said well, I want to go for a walk about the, the city. I knew what I was going to do. He said, well, long have you gone? you there, so I've got a tenner. I said, we're going to get a sandwich or something, I said, we'll walk about. But I, no way, there was no way at all I was flying home. If he's watching this, they'll know exactly what I was on about, Steve. So, I go, we're going to jump a train home. I'll be here, if you can't find we fucking going to jump, <laughs> jump a train home. I said, I'll get, I'll get us home. Grummet, there's no way you can get us home with no money. I said, I can get us home. I said, trust me. So I go to the gates on this train, but, but my maid... Five years before that, we fucking arrested every week. But then, like, the five years after, he, he'd never been in trouble and he was like, didn't dare do nothing. Well, I didn't, I, I, I didn't dare do nothing either, but... The only way I was getting home was fucking jumping a train. I get on the train, not paying. So, I, go, I try to get through this, uh This part of the... Like, the security... Station. Yeah, like the, the security on the platform. So I said, oh... Just try to get through. Where's the ticket? I said, oh, I haven't got a ticket. I can't have can on this platform. Then. So, all right. I see this woman go to the, yeah, the counter. Any toilets there? I said, oh, yeah. Let her straight through. So just down there at the bottom. So I go to my bed. Right. Come with me. They can't. They, you just said the same thing. <laughs> I said, watch. I said, give me 10 minutes. I said, watch this. So I goes. So I said, all right, mate. I said, Any toilets anywhere, please? Cut, yeah, sir. Just down there. Let's just both through to me. So I said, right, stay the train comes. I said, we're going to jump on the train. He said, I don't know where the train's going. I said, well, I don't. I said, but the first train pulls up, we'll just jump on it. I said, anyways, get on this train. Looks on the platform. We need to get on such and such a platform and get, get, get this train uh, closer to warm. Anyway, the train comes. I said, when the conductor comes, pretend you're asleep. I don't like doing this, mate, you know. <laughs> I said, well, there's no... I, 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 said, we missed, I said, we missed the flight now. I said, so the train where we're getting on. So I nudged him, I see his conductor, 10 years asleep, so 
tickets, tickets. So me and him are tending to be asleep, you know what I mean? So we're getting to Bristol, getting a bit closer to home, you know what I mean? If we get to get like, Leeds, wouldn't we? No, we get to get to where uh, Manchester way, like just getting further up and further up. I said, see we at Manchester now, I said it's easy to get picked up in Manchester. It is again. So I said, go to sleep. So anyway, he goes to sleep. So the conductor gets off, comes up to us, taps us both on the thing. He said, I'm not fucking stupid, he said, I know exactly what you have done. He said, but uh, I'm getting off at, at Leeds. He said, a new conductor getting on. He said, so if you've, if you can't, uh, he might not fall for it. Like, I've let, I've let you do it, he said, but I shouldn't have, he said, but I have. I said, so I told him a story, he said, totally understandable, he said, uh, like, but he took, he took the wimp. So when this new conductor gets on, the next stop was uh, Newcastle, Leeds, or no, York it was. Leeds to York, I thought, Leeds only two hours away. He's going to get picked up from Leeds if the conductor starts thinking. So I'm saying, easy conductor, go to sleep. So he wakes us up. He says, where's your tickets? I said, I haven't got them. What do you mean you haven't got them? I said, I'll throw them in the bin. I said, I didn't think I need to show them again. Of course you've got to show them again. I said, two minutes. I said, uh, I'll find them. So anyways, I'm looking about. I said, as soon as we get this York on here, I said, jump off this fucking train. I said, I'm just walk off and do a runner. He said, from York? I said, yeah. But we're still miles away, so I'll get us from York to fucking Middlesbrough. So don't even worry about that. So I've got us here. I don't. I said, I've got you to fucking York from Bristol. I said, I'll get you to, I'll get us home. Right, how then? So I'm on these tickets. So the, He's a panic going Yeah, I always panic my foot. I was shaking everything like you white. So I goes, look, I said, we're here now. I said, we're at York. So as soon as these doors open, I said, just jump off the train, get off the train. So we get to York, does a run from the train. So I'm looking for York. Well, we're only on the platform. York to where... Where's this? It Thornaby, was it? York, York to Thornaby, yeah, yeah, York to Thornaby. I said, right, York, York to... Or was it Newcastle? York, Newcastle. No, it would be Newcastle. Yeah, York to Thornaby. Or it might have been Newcastle to Thornaby. It was one of them anyway. I got, I got us an hour away from home. So he goes, you can do the same again. So yeah, so by the time the conductor gets down here, I said, thingy. So the conductor comes to wear his tickets. I said, look, mate. I said, it's like this. I said, we fucking haven't paid for the tickets since I've been to Bristol. I said, I've got us to wear. I said, just let me go to Thornaby, please. I said, I've got no money. I said, I don't like flying. I said, there's my plane ticket. There's my return flight. I said, get me a rest if you want to. I said, I've never been in trouble in my life. I said, all I want to do is just get home. I said, I don't like flying. I, I flew there. I said, just let me get home. I said, it's up to you what you can do. I said, going to get me arrested or find me. I said, just do it. I said, well, I haven't got a ticket. I'm not, I haven't paid. He said, thank you very much for your honesty, sir. He said, and I don't mind you staying on the farm. He said, because you're being honest with me, he said, I'm just going to let you stay on. So I goes, oh, thank you very much. Like, sound. So I got us there from there. So I guess stays like, how the fuck have you done that? <laughs> I said, well, just tell people the truth instead of lying to people. I said, you might as well tell them the truth. I said, if you're going to lie, then you get, you're not going to get nowhere. I said, tell, caught, I said just tell them the truth. So then... You only told them the truth in fucking York. Yeah, but I'm glad I was asleep halfway. <laughs> I, I got his own. So I get his own. So he's going on to this day telling me when I got his own thing. I was like fucking James Bond or something. Right, so somebody, uh, so the dissolvable short chest, that, that, that was a battle. So that was another one that went viral in all papers and stuff. So the next time he goes over. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> we end up doing a. I put a like a little speaker in his uh in his in his hand luggage bag and he didn't know. So I switched it on. So as we're going through like security, I put like the more noise like porn noises on. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. And everyone's looking around like that. Fucking hell was. And I said, so I says, that, that's that's in your bag. Is it, is it? So he gets out the bag and he fucking fuming he was. Shots it at me. So now it's in my hand, everyone looking at it with these noises. So we're getting the bed on. Which goes for a quiet drink in the outback. Some bloke comes up and says, Are right, you lads, you mind if I sit here? I said, No, no, no problem, mate. Yeah. Just, just, just sit down. So I'm on it, on it with me. What it is, right? I need to do something here. Will you mind me, dog? 
for 10 minutes. <laughs> I said, oh yeah. I said, yeah, we'll mind your dog. No, I'll mind the dog. Well, you'll mind the dog. Yeah. Big dog and little yeah. dog. Yeah, you don't mind, mind the dog, he just passed me the lead. Yeah, it was like... So Do you keep all of that, man? Mm -hmm. Two minutes while you go to the bar. Yeah, so half, an, so half an hour passed, no bloke. An hour passed, no bloke. Two hours passed, no bloke. I thought, where the fuck is this bloke? So we're both looking at each other, right? So we went yeah. looking for him. But he had him mention something about the shamrock. Yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah. So we, I, I was looking for him, but we couldn't find him anywhere. I, see, I said, I did hear him say something about the yeah. shamrock. So no, I said that, I said, he's mentioned something about going to the shamrock. shamrock yeah. yeah, yeah. I said, so I don't know if he's fucking like, left us here with a dog. I said, should we try the shamrock? He goes, oh, <clears throat> I will. So anyway, we found a block with a dog. So that's just another story. But when we go to Benidorm... Dog sitting for two hours. Yeah, I mean, like with dogs. We've been there for fucking three hours. Another video ended up viral and all over the papers. So you imagine how big, big dog is over there by now. And then... He goes and uh, does a... He fucking bats the dogs on, wasn't he? Yeah, he goes and does a... <laughs> a few times after, he goes and does that prank in the airport. You know, the what the pranks what they do with the phone, like Dom Joy did years ago, hello. <clears throat> So he goes, go on, go on, it's, what was it, a Hindu one? Yeah. Hindu, go on, do it, do it. I'm going, no, don't. Not, not in security, go on, do it. So he does it, doesn't he? So I'm recording him as he's done it. So as he's done it, I've seen the security look, the police look, and everybody fucking look. And I'm thinking, <laughs> where you getting locked well, up? I man? didn't know, did I fuck say? So what? So I, I just switched the. They've, I, they've got no sense of humour. These Spanish. I, I switched. I, I, I switched the fucking. The, uh, the, the I delete the video straight away and reason, recently deleted. So the police come over. You come here. You come here. Show me video. I said some more video. Show me video. I said there's no video there. So I said show me your phone. So I showed them the phone. There was no video there. I was clicked on straight away. I, I knew straight away, like, they were going to look for that video and look like do me as well. So, they said to me, press that one, recently deleted. So I went in there, there was nothing there. So he oh, it's okay, okay, you can go. I said, what about my friend? Your friend, no, no, your friend stayed. So, you uh, ended up having to, what do you mean? I thought, I thought it was a big prank. Really, I did. Yeah. I thought he's fucking, I'm, really, I don't, I don't know why, but I'm thinking, I'm just, just gonna go right, go on, fuck it. Yeah, get on your way. Yeah, get on your way, don't do it again. I'm just sat in this room for about fucking about an hour and a half and think, what the fuck's going on? With a guard, you keep popping yeah, in the, Yeah, just people looking in and that, and like, oh, fuck's sake. Well, next minute, the fucking come in, the fucking machine guns on the side, I think, oh, fuck, this is no joke. Not <laughs> <laughs> even funny. Yeah. About three hours later, I'm on a fucking easy, not easy jet, what was it? Ryanair. Ryanair, back to fucking England. I'm so I phoned him, saying, well, hey, to put me in like a little room. I said, well, he locked up. No, I'm not locked up, but like they've put me in a room. <laughs> I said, what they said, they're speaking in Spanish and mentioned TikTok. So obviously they, they, they knew who he was at the time when they, when they mentioned the TikTok. Anyway, he got sent home from that one and then... The rest, when it, the rest is history, isn't it? Yeah. And that day, the fucking... <laughs> well, I never had the right fucking proof for me jabs. Do all the fucking Covid oh, jabs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so goes in. Well, this woman, a Spanish woman, it's like fucking Italy. <sighs> Sat there, like, we goes, I've said, well, that's all I've got. No, no, that's no good, that's no good. All right, well... So we carried on, even got through security and all that. We sat there, but every time I looked around, I, I could see this woman, yes, I'm thinking, she's there. following me, yeah, you know. There, Make you? sure I don't get on this fucking plane, he's going, oh, I'll be all right. Get you out the way you're fucking boarding and that. She's fucking stood with her, where you get put your passport, you, she stood with them, I'm thinking, you horrible person. So we get set, no, no, you're not allowed in the plane, never had a fucking button left. So he, he, he said straight away, he said, well, I can't leave, you, me and your dad, wasn't it? Yes, I can't Yeah, leave. he said, I can't leave him fucking either. He said, you'll end up fucking lost here. So another one where we have to fucking stay back. 
Yeah, we're stuck in the airport with no money. Not a fucking do we? Never ever. So yeah. our friends, they know who they are. If they're watching, he phones them up. Oh, we can get, we can get. Oh no, well as long as we can get back to Benidorm, we'll be all right. So they end up sorting us a lift out. He come and picked us up, got the Benidorm, and he's like, he knows, he knows a lot of people over there, and this. Last, you better last in the other corner. And she like, sorted him out with the Euros enough for us to stay. I thought, for yeah. fuck's sake. Yeah, I never took the right, like, I never gave him the right documents. So I thought, but she was, do you know what I mean? She could just said, right, all then. Because it said when they had me fucking jabs, but it never said, like, what kind of jabs it was or. But like that was another drama, wasn't it? That started sweating me. Every time we go, there's there's absolute drama, like every single time. I start sweating, panic and fucking palpitations and everything. I'm oh, thinking what? I'm over here by myself, then they yeah. come up the bag saying I'm not leaving you over here by yourself. We stuck in the airport four hours waiting for a lift to it, yeah, weren't we? If you if, if I left you over there, you would never have got home. I said, but that's I can't leave him there, so I've got, I've got to stay. So that's another story. Another story, he broke my foot. I know Billy Scooter. I'm sure you've all seen that because that was only recently. Where he crashed, I kept cutting in front of him because his back was going flat, so he's uh Yeah, I'm not. So I'm going back. I always I always get him back, but like I didn't mean to do it like yeah, so that I'm extreme. So like, he smashed into me in a fucking mobility scooter, broke my foot. Then three months after, we went over and Big Dog fell off a bar stool, but I would thought he was riding the rodeo ball backwards. And broke his foot. You've seen the fucking so, video that's on there as well. So we've it? so we, yeah, so we've both been both broke broke a foot in the last three months in Benidorm. <laughs> you couldn't make it up, could you really? No. Couldn't. The last one, right, is the one where we the most recent one where I didn't think Big Dog was going, but he was going through a rough time, so I thought I, I'm just gonna book his flight to Benidorm with us. So I I, I, I could have booked an hotel, but I didn't think it was gonna turn up. So he turns up, it was, it was a fancy dress. So he turned up on the Monday, I thought, but I thought he'd tell him, I said, look, I said, the cheapest hotel is 600 pound, I can stay in this hostel. He said, Kate, he said, there's only somewhere to get my head down. He said, I'll stay in the hostel. He said, I'm that. He said, uh, I, I couldn't afford the 600 pound to pay it anyway. But if I knew it was going earlier, I could have like done it. But, yeah. I, but I had no contact with him at That's all. That's my fault. Yeah, I know that for, was for my three fault days. anyway. So I get, get him in the hostel. Tell them what happened the first night in the hospital. Oh. So we goes, I goes back to the hostel. We'd been in and I, I thought, yeah, smashing. But it was like fiestas. So, but it was like Spanish fiestas as well. So... It's like fireworks up all over, isn't it? Yeah. In the alley, so we're playing drums on the bins. So it was loud as fuck anyway. So I get in, gets into bed. And halfway through the night, they <laughs> I don't know if I was snoring or I don't know what it was. This bloke just gets up and shuts his keys at us. Well, oh, you fucking, I can't say you. Never thought no more about it, went to sleep. Woke up. But like, the keys I had were his, I didn't know. So I'm sat there and I'm trying to open the locker for me to <laughs> I'm sat there and this key's not fitting. I'm like, where the fuck, so why isn't it fucking opening my locker? So I goes on the front desk. I said, not, not opening my locker. He sat there, he come in, looked at it like that, he said, no, it's number two bed, he go, he go. I said, well, that's not to do with me. I said, well, I don't know why he's gone, he go, I said, fair enough. Looked under my pillow, my keys were there. Old me locker, gets a shower. Joking on you. Swear down. I want arm proof. No, yeah, well, my footprints might be still there. Gets a shower, yeah. And fucks off. And on the... <laughs> This is on the third, that was on the Wednesday, wasn't it? On the Thursday, it was fancy dress yeah, day. Yeah, fancy dress, yeah. So obviously, we were outside the Morgan's Tavern fucking partying away. It was Every just, time I finished the can, there was a can in my hand. Everyone was like, everyone was mocked that day. I was absolutely kill eyed. Ended up falling off, that's why I broke my foot. Ended up falling off the stove with a bumblebee. Someone dressed up as a bumblebee, not a proper bumblebee. Yeah, end up falling off this stool. 
and like someone must have happened. I can't remember, but like ah, I've, I've seen the video, so like I've, I've heard something. Next minute, he said to me, "You just fucked off and stormed off." So I must have fucked off back the hospital. The hospital. The hostel. Guess the hostel. Must go to bed. I must have woke up and stood up, must have thought I was on the toilet, so I just must have started pissing. they like, must have been on someone's pillar, because that's what they said. Yes, so you could. So I get back in, I'm, this, I only found this out the, uh, last week. Yeah, I'm when I got back, someone called Keith and told us, like, what happened. Uh, on the lab, Yeah, it? on the lab. So I must have, like, went back to bed, got back up and started doing it again. So. <laughs> So I wakes up in the morning while he storms in the block. You go, you go. He's going, I'm going, what have I done? Gets out of bed, nearly fucking slips over and fucking big puddle like. So he comes, oh. he comes up in a, 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 a man, still, no. still dressed like Kenneth, like Kenneth Benendorf the night before. Walked down the beach. In fancy dress. Yeah, walked all the way down the beach front with a fucking pink. I never put it on, I put it over my shoulder, fucking limping down with a pair of fucking skimpy fucking jean shorts and a top that didn't fit us. So he comes, but we, he's not allowed him, he's not allowed to stay with my dad because if my dad gets to complain, he's out, but I was staying at my dad's this time. So he comes and tells me, so I booked another hotel, he's opposite, he's absolutely mortal. So I thought, 50 No, but I bumped. What I done, I bumped into two people who were on TikTok here, uh, Kevin Kelly, and they bought me a couple of pints. So that, like, I think it just topped me up. So I end up going to the Golden Hour. I thought I'll have one of the Golden Hour before I go back. And the, the lads all know, was a, like, they'll know, like, who I'm sat with. It was a partially sighted bloke, or a blind bloke, sat there. And they would just give me, like, Jaeger bombs. <laughs> So by the time I got back to his department, I was there last was fucking <laughs> they were laughing a nut off. He, well, he wasn't too happy. And said I knocked on the door, we showed the door, and oh, they yep, yeah, my uh, <laughs> He's on the balcony, he's, he's giggling, Gemma. So I goes like, yeah, oh, right, okay, yeah. I booked you an hotel over there. Like, is it gonna say fuck off? I know yeah. you're gonna do my head. No, because you done my head the night so I thought. I wanna have walked out now to see what happened. I said, what, what have you been throwing for? I don't have a clue, I don't know. I don't know. So I said, I'm gonna walk down there and find out. I never had a clue, you know, as well. I really don't know. So I walked down to the hotel, I said that I get to the old town, I goes in, inside, I said, my mate, he said yes. I said, he's been thrown out, he said yes. I said, what for? He said, peace. So I thought he meant peace and quiet. I said, look, I said, it's fiestas. I said, like, he can't help snoring. No peace. I said, well, if I'm peace, like, surely, like, he, he can't not help snoring. You not understand. I said, write it down. He said, I don't need you. So he stood and started pretending he was having a piss. I said, piss. He went, yes, peace. On someone's pillow. He pissed. I said, oh, right, sorry. <laughs> That's about really, I, I cannot, it's just all a big blur till he showed me the video about me falling off the stool. I didn't even know I'd done my foot. Yeah, that's what it, and so, as and now, we thought we're all going to quieten down. It's absolutely blew back up again because that chicken fried rice video has gone absolutely fucking massive. So now it takes us about an hour to walk from Hotel Marina to Morgan's Tavern because he gets mobbed for pictures. And like fucking, um, and we're going to watch him live, hopefully, on the 15th. Yeah, so it's, it's empty. You can't, everywhere he goes, man, there's people, pictures, pictures, pictures. Which I don't mind, you know. But like I said, it's been, that many newspapers, lad barbell, big massive uni lad. People in America are sending us it. Like, it's, it's gone yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's gone, That's it's daft, isn't it? Yeah, it's gone mad. But, yeah, but he, he broke his foot this time. The time before I broke, well, a few, few months back, I broke mine. Helped two kids out, we'll get on. Ended up breaking my foot, missing all transfers, broke my foot. But yeah, so that's all been down stories. Hope you liked it. Watch our videos and you'll have a laugh because everything we've talked about on here, you will see the videos if you scroll down, Benadorm underscore Grummer and Daz a big dog Benadorm. Chicken fried rice. Chicken fried rice. He's just laughing at me. So I goes downstairs, the woman says, can you change our room? I said, they said a room with you. And she started laughing at me. 
So every time we walked out, I, I think said, seen you, you know. Yeah, every time we walked out, I was saying, you fucking stick to someone, yeah. <laughs> so she's crying, laughing, just laughing yeah. at us all at all. So, yeah, so that was that one. So, we, so anyways, we, we, we ended up getting home. The pranking starts. So we start doing them daft, those daft pranks in bed at all. Big dog's profile's getting bigger. We had newspapers every week. This time I said to him, right, you fancy Benadorm? No, I can't, can't afford it. I would kick go. No. I don't force it four days. Right, all then, four days. I said, I'll sort the flights out, you'll book the hotel. He said, right, oh. He said, Where, whereabouts? It's just the cheapest one you can find. I said, just fucking book it, the cheap, whatever the cheapest. I said, Where, whatever, whatever, just the cheapest thing you can find. Go on, tell him. Yeah. So we sat there on the phone, I was sat there I'm scrolling through it, but I am blind to bath, really. I, that's why I need them. Them? Yeah. Prime R That's why I need them, but I never had none. All I say was sat there, 100 and fucking, what was it? 140 quid. 145 quid, 145 quid for four days. So I thought that'll do. I said, be buzzing with us. So he phones me up, uh, 145 quid. I said, that. I said, what for four days? Yeah. I said, book it. <laughs> so what's it called? We're in Hotel Benadorm oh, Beach. Yeah, that's I it, said, yeah. I said, I must be on, I need a beach from then. I said, yeah, I said, that'll do us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we goes there. So we goes to get a taxi, because no, our maker couldn't pick us up, so we goes to get a taxi to, to Benadorm. There was no one, no one half wait for a taxi, there was no taxi, was there? I said, we're jumping on a bus. Oh, let's sneak on the yeah. transfers, didn't we? He said, what do you mean? I said, jump on this bus, I'll get you on the bus, man. How? I said, jump on, I said, but jump on at the front. Yeah, you'll shit yourself. Yeah, but I said, jump on at the front. Because I jumped on straight away, so I was driving, I was looking, I just jumped and sat down, you go. You want them out with the faggers up to say, can we get on yet? Can yeah, we get just get yeah. I was waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm fucking, you're waiting, you shit your pants. I was waiting for the right time. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, when you get on though, make sure you sit in the front. I said, so if we do get caught, we're not gonna like have to walk past everybody when we get if he chucks us off. So anyway, <laughs> the, this bus is filling up now. Yeah, we up. were sat there, we were uh, thinking, fuck it up, no one else gets on. There was, I four, think it's there was four seats left, and we're seeing like another yeah. lot of people coming. <laughs> yeah, we were looking like that, looking about thinking, I hope no one else comes up that airport, do you? Anyways, so we're fucking, you shut off. The door shut yeah, and yeah. that. <laughs> so I says to him, I just hope it's going to Benadorm. Could have been going anywhere. You know yeah, I mean? said, me. <laughs> so I says, says to him the next day, Saturday, I said, is, I said, is this going to Benadorm, this love? She went, yeah, it is, yeah. So, so of course it's going to Benadorm. Why would you, why would you book a transfer? It's not going to Benadorm. So we haven't paid, so we just snuck on. All oh, right. I said, anywhere anyway, in Benadorm will do. So as we are there, I shut me live on just for a laugh. I said, we just snuck on. Just tell him, tell him, but we just think on a bus. So where you staying? Hotel Benadorm Beach. I said, but I said, so I'm sitting. Do you know where it is? He's going north. I said, must be. I said, must be near a beachfront. So people are saying, I said, can people Google it? So people said, no, we, we can't find it. I said, Kek, I said, shows you comfort, like your thing. He said, my phone's flat. I said, well, can we? I said, we're gonna have to put that. Uh, Charge the phone, we get the confirmation. Okay, I haven't brought the charge yet. I said, you fucking mind me over here, what? He said, no. So anyway, he's walking about. So anyway, as a fan, just... Someone Arie's said... Bar, wasn't it? Eh? Did we go to Harry's bar? Harry's bar, yeah. He goes... <laughs> he said, there's, there's not... Hang on, two seconds, stop. Yeah, there's no hotel. He said, yeah. it's not hotel. It's, it, it's not hotel Benidorm Beach. It's hostel Benidorm Beach. I said, you've never booked us in a hostel, have you? He said, he said, I didn't have my glasses on, he said, I don't even know. So I goes in, <laughs> so I says, have you, have you got a room for like, ten our names, he went, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Two, two people, I said, yeah. When I walked in, it was absolutely gleaming, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought, perfect. For thought it's clean. I thought, perfect for us, this. So, he said, I'll show you a room. So when he shows the room, there were six beds in it. All these videos on TikTok, if you haven't seen them, give them a watch. There were six beds. I said, why is there six beds? He said, oh, yeah, six, six people. He said, two, that bed, English, and two, Syrian. Syrian. I said, well, I asked him, two, two English people and two people from Syria. 
Bro, the lamp stood the door, wasn't it? The, yeah. the videos there, the, the man stood at the door. I see you from Amsterdam, he was six fucking people. He goes, there's your locker. I said, mate, yeah. I said, I don't want the locker. I said, I'm not staying here. He's going, why? It's, it's all right. I said, what's staying here with six people in one room? I said, fucking top and tail with somebody. <laughs> you know, room beds. Yeah, but we're not, but we're fucking six people in the room. I said, you just take the piss, show. <laughs> well, I didn't have my glasses on. He said, there's nothing I could have done. So anyways, we this is one o'clock in the morning, wasn't it? Yeah. We didn't have nowhere to stay. So we, we found somewhere to stay for. He's got me there for all Where day. did we go? Uh... I'm trying to you know think. What? I think. We were dragging our fucking things out. It was, all, it, was, it, was all, it was all the way in the new town, wasn't it? Like, it was somewhere around that way, wasn't it? It wasn't the alley, was it? Alley apartments. I think it was, you know. Yeah, I think it was the alley, yeah. It was the alley, wasn't it? was it? the alley apartments. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Because yeah. you could book, yeah. you went in and yeah. you the rooms in. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. we, yeah, yeah. we thought we were part of the alley. Oh, no, that's right, yeah. Did yeah. you give us a move right above the office? Yeah, because we, I said, he said, uh, the alley, he said, I found one in the alley, he said, we barred out. Because what happened one night? All the lads looked big, they got on the balcony. It wasn't me, it was just the lads winding him up. Oh, so he kicked the fucking... All the main, you never him, is so, it, Jim? So he kicked, yeah. kicked the balcony door and shattered it. So, so I goes down. I said, my mates fell over and smashed the balcony door. So the man comes upstairs, he looks, he goes, you kicked off. I said, no, he fell over. He said, I'm getting police. He said, no, don't get the police. I said, just whatever it costs. I said, we'll, we'll, we'll all chip in. I said, there was, oh, look, there was loads of the two, like. About four or five or Yeah, I said, this is a different time, by the way, from the hostel. This is a different time. But while we're in all the hard, that's why I mentioned it. So, I thought, he let us in here. So he goes, give us our own names. And he's looking at us both funny. So I goes, look, I said, don't don't lock him up. Don't get him arrested. I said, we'll pay for it. He goes, no, no, no. You get arrested. I said, me? Yes, you. I said, why the fuck would I get arrested? I said, I didn't know a thing wrong. He, he goes, no, it was, it was me who done it, it wasn't him. He goes, no, but the room's in your name. I said, ah, oh, you fucking joking me. So I think I'm getting arrested. So then we sort out with him. You were all right, really, Yeah, we sort out with him. We paid the, paid the money, got the door fixed. So one night, B Big Dog gets back to the uh, hotel. You right, Jim, yeah? Yeah, I'm... He goes, uh, we were in him, we were, we were out. There was a comedy on the telly. It was loud, so he's not gonna. He, I thought it was a couple. I was just talking. So he could hear people talking and laughing in the background, but obviously it was off the telly. So he thought we would just wind him up. Next minute he kicks the door off, it's injured, doesn't he? So he gets in. I look, so I see his wood all over. I said, You fucking haven't, have you? So I'm trying to like figure this. We had to put a 200 pound, 200 pound bond down. So I goes downstairs, we're we going home in the after. So he goes, let's go and check the room. So he comes down, he said, uh, there he's going, he's going out. I said, what the bond? No, no, no bond. So why? Your mate kicked down. I said, how do you know? He said, I watched him on CCTV, <laughs> kicked down. <laughs> on camera. Yeah, on, on camera. So we, we thought we were barred out. So when we goes there, they give us a give us a room right above the office, didn't they? Yeah. Like directly above his office, so we couldn't like fucking carry on. So I thought, I'll get him back. So I bought some dissolvable shorts of eBay. Every time when it rained, I thought I'll get him. So I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting. Anyway, gets him. <laughs> thought I've got him here. So he goes, I'm going for a swim. It's fucking boiling. I see it. There's some, some shorts I can have. I said, you can have them shorts you want them. Oh, nice one, smart them. So he puts them on, just dives in the pool. I saw him getting in a minute. <clears throat> the video's on TikTok as well. He goes, well, what the fuck's going on here? So what is it? I could see his shorts floating about it's in the front. fucking couple, like, on the sun lounges, just like yeah. about 10 foot away from us. And a bloke, a bit further down, 
sat there and like, I just went from like that and nothing. I'm sat there, I'm thinking. So he's picked me towel and walking off. I'm saying, now wait, don't be fucking about. So fucking about, will you? Thought, yeah, he's about. laughing his nut off. I'm saying, now wait, I said, there's people over there. <laughs> that was a fuck sick. Yeah, uh, fucking. So I waited for three months. Yeah, I waited three months, but I got him back for the hostel. So I thought, yeah, we'll have, we'll have that one. Do you know when he says, like, I like bad, bad time to get someone back? Yeah. Yeah, I know your dad's on a flight, but... <clears throat> we didn't have to... Passports with Steve, like, <clears throat> Steve's ladder who gives a lift at the airport and that. <clears throat> I said, well, I don't know. So I phoned my dad up. I said, have you left the passport? I said, where are you now? He said, I'm home. He said, I've just landed. I said, where's the passport? Oh, they're in the fucking drawer. I said, has anyone got a key? I said, as a caretaker downstairs, has anyone got a key? No. He said, Grummy said, I can't, he said, I can't fly back over, he said, I've got to get away. I said, I said, I said, I put a thing on my TikTok, anybody come to Benidorm, can you please, uh, can you please inbox me? I was going to get the keys dropped off and bring the keys over for me, but then I got no response. Anyways, missed, so missed the flight, so the next day, someone said they'll come on, on, the, on the Friday. So I extended the hour out, the, the pop Ben up on the Friday. But by this time, like, we were running out, out of money now. We had fucking... Oh, options, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like... We couldn't get a flight home till on Monday, because everyone, the, the flight to absolute fortune, with all this air traffic control. So the only one I could afford was the Monday one. So I said, right, I wanna, I'll book this Monday one now. I said, well, I said, we can't stay here. I said, we're going to have to go and try and find it somewhere cheaper yeah. now. Well, you asked them, didn't you? And they said, no, we can't. Like, didn't yeah. you do us a day later? And they said, fuck. I said, no, it was going to cost us two knockers. I haven't got it. <clears throat> so I found this uh, HMP. HMP <laughs> bed. <laughs> that wasn't a bad in mind of me. It was a no, because he was just laughing at me because I've I, I I never been in prison, right? So I get there, right? I haven't. There was this, yeah, I know, well, obviously. There was this landing. I looked, I thought. But I've seen fucking strange ways on telly. I said, Keck, it looks like a prison, this, you know. And he's absolutely crying, laughing. So I pressed the light. Me thinking it was like, was someone's next door's doorbell. <laughs> but, but when I booked it, it's a room with a view. So I said, I said we'll have a view, view with the old towns. So I went to a bar, we sit and chill out at night. Like, like, watch people, yeah. Barber. So I gets in, press this button. It was a fucking panic alarm. All these videos on my TikTok, by the way, panic alarm. He sat crying, laughing. I'm saying, keep on laughing. I said, I can't stay here. He's gone. We went from riches to rags. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he shot when he went there. So I said, where's the... I said, I said, oh, we'll sit in the balcony for an hour. Well, he gets the balcony. Tell him what the balcony was like. Ken. Oh, well, sat on his knee. It, it was that little oh, no, well, I'm, it was. You could squeeze it. It was only like a... Uh, yeah, room for a view. The, the view was a white wall. The room... I <laughs> know, the fucking laundry. Yeah, the laundry. <laughs>